Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. <sighs> all right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Boo there. And, and what? What, what's the shirt say? Does it say something about Teaching my frogs? Boos. Oh, frogs. booze. I don't know. <laughs> White frogs <laughs> that are in the shape of ghosts. Anyways, welcome back to the video. And if you have not clicked off yet, we really appreciate that. While you're not clicking stuff, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button. We are looking at a trailer reaction that just dropped, I think, our time this morning. Anyways. Evening time, some other time. And we're looking at the man who was doing the dancing in the video we reacted to, where you say it was an older gentleman <laughs> with, the, with the amazing dancing skills. And <laughs> this is a film where I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. Anoth? Right? There's a double N, double A, double T. <laughs> oh my gosh. Your glasses are off. I can't see, so I got you really close. Anoth. Anothy. I'm sure there's probably some kind of like little Anathe. accent there. Anathe. <laughs> and this is an upcoming Indian Tamil language action drama film written, directed by Siva, and produced by Kalanathi Moran. And it stars Rajanikath, the expert with the and the dancing skills that Jody loves so much. And this is a brand new teaser, just got dropped, so we're excited to check it out. What are you most excited about for this trailer? I don't know anything about it. It's like <laughs> nothing. So I, oh. I don't know if I can fully answer that. <laughs> I guess to see what it's about. There you go. It's The anticipation is killing us. But we're going to go ahead and look at this. Please, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, Varun, for doing the subtitles. And let's go ahead and check this out. All right. Here we go. awesome dance moves again. I hope so. Setting it up. Some bad guys. Oh! They went flying. This guy's in his 70s. That's crazy. I love it. He's smiling as he's like, with his sunglasses on. Oh! <laughs> oh! That's a cool shot. Yeah, it is. Man, what are they putting below that to make it shoot up the entire bus? He's not even phased by it. That was like a creepy like look and laugh right there. <laughs> that was fantastic. Gosh. He's got so much style. He's got so much cool quality to him. So calm and collected. He's just running around, walking around, blowing up buses. I wanted to see what was going to happen with that machete, that blade he had on the no, motorcycle. No, I, I did not want to see that. Decapitation? I, I was so happy they didn't show that. <laughs> I part. know. I was, like, I was no, so disappointed because she no. did not want to see it. No. And I wanted to see it 100%. No, I'm good. So good. Um, so I'm curious. I'm wondering if he's like, everybody thinks he's like this amazing guy, but like, but they don't know that he does all He's a bad, stuff. evil guy? Yeah. Or not, maybe not even like a, like evil, but situation? that he has this other side to him. Well, Dexter was that show. I never saw it. Me either. But it's a show where he was a serial killer, and his way of coping with it was by investigating and killing other serial killers. So he was able to do some good 
but he was able to get his fix in because of his addiction or whatever. Okay. So I wonder if... It, I'm not saying serial killer, but if it's just a similar thing, that's interesting. I just took it as this is the last guy you want to mess with. Yeah. And so maybe some of these gangsters, new gangsters to his hometown or whatever. Because it looked at first like he was like out in the village, right? Like out in the country, kind of doing his own thing. Yeah. And okay. then maybe something happened in the city and he's just like, oh, you don't know who you're messing with. It's one of the best moments in uh, Walking Dead, I think it's season five, is when they get caught into that, that uh, loading truck thing. And Rick tells the guys they don't know who they're messing with. And they take them all out. Spoiler alert. But I just, I love, I just love the way he just carries himself. He's been doing it for like 50 years in movies. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm just curious how hot that scene must have been, like by the fire with the blowing up of the trucks. Oh, that's all CGI. Oh, is it? Oh, man. I can't imagine he's really in front of it. But yeah, so cool. I mean, maybe maybe the blowing up the trucks. Hopefully, that was practical effects with them blowing up. I don't think it was. But could you imagine all the explosives you would need yeah. to boom lift that and up? How dangerous that would be! If that was real fire, then that would be super hot. I mean, it would singe all hair on his head. Yeah. I think we saw a picture of him on Google where he actually is bald on top, and so this is a hair piece. It's a really good one because it looks like natural yeah. hair. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't realize that. That would make him look more his age, though. Yeah. Having less hair. Well, that I makes think, sense because he looks very good for his age. Absolutely. And I think the hair is like his trademark. So oh, yeah, it's yeah. just the irony of life, right? Where nature's like, nope, you're going to lose that trademark. But this is movie magic, baby. You'll be able to keep it in there. Question is, I know you love, we know you love this actor. Are you excited for this film? To me, I'm actually really intrigued by it. The whole, like, she didn't get to see it. I didn't get to see what I was on the blade. That actually piqued my interest. I want to know what happens. So it's going to make me want to watch the movie even more. Let us know your thoughts. Please don't forget to... Like and subscribe. <laughs> so much so much enthusiasm. Sorry. Like and subscribe. <laughs> I just wasn't, wasn't <laughs> expecting it. But we appreciate it so much. Please don't forget to do it. And we will see you next time. Goodbye, Biz.